All right, thanks, Rick. Well, starting this Sunday, you're going to get to see three Idahoans competing in the 10th season of the great food truck race on the Food Network with their Frank in Slides food truck. And we're out here at the KTVB uh, patio, and you can see that we have two of the three members here for the Frank and Slides. The truck isn't here either, but we have Kyle Weston here working the fryer, and we got Craig Smith over here getting some uh, sandwiches together. Oh, yeah. We're looking at a bacon wrapped hot dog. Now, you guys have a food truck. Here, you guys just no, started. We don't. We you, don't have a food truck. But yet. the name of your food truck is Frank and Slides. Just Correct. for this, for the show, for the for food. For the show. Okay. Smith, Steve Weston, Kyle Moore is the one that's not here. Yeah. How did and you guys get together? Oh, we've known each other for a while. We catered. I mean, we've been friends for quite a long time. We've worked together off and on a lot. So, what made you decide to take your talents to TV? Well, he asked me. <laughs> he asked you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Not too many people want to do this. Not no. Not too many people have the possibility of being away for six weeks. So. It's a big commitment. And so you take this Frankenslides food truck all the way through this competition. That You guys came up with products that would be kind of a monster theme. Is right. that right? Like this is the Frankie, mm -hmm. and that's our bacon-wrapped hot dog with avocado creme, homemade pico on a bed of cabbage with some sriracha on a toasted bun, of course. On a toasted bun, of course. Now, how did you get into cooking? Craig? Accidentally. Accidentally? Yeah, How, hamburger mean? helper used to be fine cuisine for me. And <laughs> I got a job at the VA, a lot of stress, so cooking was just a release for me. So I would come home and just start cooking. Okay, and then you? Lifelong cook. That's Lifelong cook, Steve? Jack, I wrote a cookbook that's a bestseller. Yeah. Oh, I think, yeah, it's an outdoor cookbook, yes, right? Yes, yeah. And yeah. so what kind of things do you make there? Or uh, tell people that? Everything in your kitchen, but we just get it to be to go outside, to go outdoors. To go outdoors. We, we, we prepare to go outdoors. Is it something you'd use while you're camping, or is it oh, just yeah. like you said, I mean, mostly Oh, yeah. I mean, if you make Swedish meatballs in your kitchen, then you cryovac and freeze them, take them out, and reheat them in the back country. Okay, so tell me about this great food truck race. You guys have to work together in really close quarters, right? Well, <laughs> it, it's Too tight. Close. It yeah. is very tight. Yeah. yeah, we bumped into each other quite often. I think I had bruises every night. A new bruise popped up somewhere just from running into something. Uh, we had a lot of issues, yeah. And you guys shot this, how, how long did it take you to shoot these episodes? Oh, two days typically. It would take two full days. Well, two and a half days. For each episode? Half, yes. For, or for the episode, episode of Myrtle Beach, yeah. yeah. All right. That's can you tell us like what were the hardest thing for you guys to do? I think for us, and we can talk about that first episode that we did in Myrtle Beach, I think the hardest thing with us was learning how much work it was. We did not know how detailed and in-depth and the amount of work required to just even get it up and running. Yeah. And we had some issues with our truck too. That oh, we're well, not going to talk about. We'll, well let the we, viewers watch that. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll was, leave that. There were some surprise. issues. Yeah. But neither of you worked in a food truck before. No, right? no never. No so what was it like, kind of learning that? Uh, I think you said it pretty good the other day. Something about Top Chef meets the oh. Cannonball Run. Put it in a yeah. blender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Some laughs> that, was that your lines. quote? It's kind of yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's so they, nonstop. They call it the Great Food Truck Race. You guys are moving around a lot, right? Do you guys go from city to yeah, city? Yeah, if, if you're not, not eliminated. eliminated. If you're yeah. not eliminated. So chances are, how many cities might have you seen on this one? Oh, good try, though. <laughs> good try. I like that. That Nuts. was nice. That was nice. You'll have to watch and see. I and where'd you come up with these recipes in this theme? Uh, well, for this one, you know, I would just I actually spent four to six months working on this. Did you really? I had almost ate a bacon-wrapped hot dog every day, and I realized, okay, enough's enough. i got to stop. This is going to kill me. <laughs> so it's fine. It's good to go. And, you know, Steve came up with some amazing fries with our rosemary garlic olive oil. The vampire fries. fries. Yes, it'll keep the vampires away, right? It will keep them. What are the products you guys make that um, are monster themes? We had like a killer bee, which okay. is Steve's rendition of his burger, which is bacon, blue cheese, butter. That's the killer bees. Inside the meat. Inside the meat. Uh, oh. On a bed of arugula with an A1 steakhouse sauce. Oh. It, it was good. That is amazing. So you juicy. can catch these two guys and your third leg in the food truck, the great food truck race coming up Sunday night, I believe. Is that what it's? Sunday night. That's on the fifth, yes. 10 p.m. On the Food Network, and it starts at 7. 7 o'clock. And we'll get to see you guys and hopefully see you go to a few more episodes other than the first one. That's right. right. Can hopefully. you tell us at least you made it past the first one? You know what? Hopefully you have to look at my ugly face for a long time. Hopefully we do. All right, thank you very much, thank Craig you. and Steve. I appreciate Thanks. it. And we will be right back with more of the news at 4 right after this.